everyone and today I have such an exciting and special video. I am so honoured and privileged to be in San Diego at the Glute Lab with Brett Contreras. Honestly, I'm just so, so stoked because he is someone that has truly inspired me to not only incorporate more hip thrust in my regime, but to really focus on my glutes. Brett, come here, say hello to everyone. This is Brett, everyone. Oh my God, I look so small. Well, I look everyone. so small compared to him. I'm also known as the glute guy, in case you can't remember my name, and this is my gym, the glute lab. So we're gonna go through five exercises, five, I would say, are probably the top glute exercises and um, we're gonna go through them Brett is gonna perfect my form he is gonna go through top tips so we can help you along your journey and to perfect your lower body workouts so make sure that you stay tuned and you hit that thumbs up button because I know you will absolutely love this are you ready I'm ready are you ready I'm ready so stay tuned let's get working out you want to go through an actual workout yeah, yeah. So Brett is gonna lead the workout. And so what we're gonna do is go through a little bit of an activation. Like I've always said to you, activation for me is key. It made a hell of a difference when I first started doing it as opposed to when I never used to do it. Just because it gets your glutes fired up and warm up is key. It prevents injuries and you know the rest. I don't need to remind you. So what are we doing first? Okay, let's come out here to the officers. <laughs> Squeeze at the top or just pause? Uh, sure, squeeze at the top. So you can do 10 of these. Okay, now I want you to do some reverse lunges. So come yep. up and step back. There you go, good. Let's get 10 on each side. Throw this guy above your knees. Oh, the glute glute. Throw that above your knees. Do you want to tell people how you got this name? Have you ever told me about no, how you got this? Do you want to tell Okay, so in, in are you most of your followers of uh, UK? No, or? they're actually American. Okay, yeah. So here in America, we have this cereal called Fruit Loops, and so I thought Glute Loop sounds like Fruit Loops. So, voila. And yeah. this band is honestly amazing, you guys. I'm not even just saying it. I can feel it. Every time I add bands to any type of crab walk, side to side, abduction. Even, it's a fantastic way to avoid your knees from caving in when you're doing squats or any type of hip thrust. This band is good, it doesn't slide, it grips onto your um, thighs. thighs, that's what they're called. All right, so come down and sit down. So I'm gonna walk you through this step by step, okay? Brilliant. All right, so you start sitting on the ground like this, and then you make sure this is symmetrical. So is the bar pad symmetrical on the bar? Is the bar symmetrical with your body? Yes, it is. You roll it into position. That's step one. So right here, it looks good. Okay, so from here, pick your feet up. All right. Now, from here, you are two, if you just started hip thrusting from right here, you would, I mean, let's try it. You'd have to look up. Yeah. You'd have to look up and it's hard. Like, so watch, do a couple reps from here. Well, no, try it from here. It's hard, oh. yeah. You see people do this a lot. Is this bench going to move? You know, it won't move, but I'll stand here just in case. Oh, okay. All right, um, go for it. See how hard this is? And like, watch, you'll, you'll, you'll naturally be, like you're trying to look forward, but you're more, so I don't like this. You might not, you, that probably felt weird for you, right? Mm, it's just, is you know what it feels? I might be wrong, but it feels a bit too high. Yeah, so right? here's what, it, so here, exactly. So here's what you do. Do what you're gonna do. Oh, right, Use okay. your elbows to come up a little higher. Yep, come up. Oh yeah, and, and then your back wants to go up. Yeah, so now you're hinging from, and I would go even higher, like walk your way up just to that. Okay. And so it's, you're at, the, the bench is at mid scapula level. That's yeah. That's like low scaps, the lower shoulder blades. So that's perfect. So from here, now once your back is in the right position, now I look at your feet. So at the top, I want your shins at right angles. So let's say move them back just like a, oh my right God, there, that's moving. it, that's it, right there, okay. perfect. Now your shins are vertical, now you're in a good position. Now I say, now drop down a little bit, not so far that you're okay. gonna slide off and then look forward, okay? Yeah. So this is it. Mm -hmm. But real quick, uh, I want to just, See your normal hip thrust form, like do like five reps how you would normally do it? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay. Good. Four more. 
two. Three, two more. Four, last one, five. Now here's what I want you to do. You're gonna, I'm gonna do a few things. You're gonna get in the same position and then when you're at the bottom, you're looking forward, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually like hold your head. So you have to look forward and I want you moving from the sternum down. Okay. This will naturally be more close to your pelvic tilt. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, come back up. Good, perfect. Mm -hmm. It's a good position. Yeah. Okay, good. Come down to the bottom. Now, from here, your head stays looking forward mm -hmm. and then you're moving from here up. Go for it. There. Oh my God. Yep. Okay, keep going. Come down, here up. Or here down, actually. Okay, keep going. Two, oh, wow. three, good. Two more. Four, last one. Hold it, one, two, three. <laughs> so do a five second ah! hold. Oh my really god, that good. makes such a difference. Yeah, but that honestly, I'm not just saying that makes such a difference because you're hinging from here yeah. as opposed to using so much momentum of your on your upper body. Yeah, so what I say is like instead of thinking it like a hinge, yeah, where you're rocking, yeah. keeping like your torso as one unit and mm -hmm. rocking, you're actually uh kind of like Make it more you're pelvic action. You're, yeah, you're you're moving from here, and your your pelvis posts your tilts. Mm -hmm. The reason why we do it this way wasn't to activate more glutes, even though I think it does. Yeah, it was to take the erectors out of it. Mm -hmm. So the job of the spinal erectors, when they shorten, it arches your you know it's just yes. stand. So you see a lot of people who have back pain, and they're like hip thrust aggravate my back. They're always doing this. So, so we're going to show you this just body weight so you can actually see and perfect your form. So, so come up. Now from here, um, like come up to the to show the wrong way. The wrong way, okay. come up, look straight up and like hinge and, and come way out. Like, but go like this with your chest like as you come up. There. And this you'll actually feel in your back, mm -hmm. you know? So freeze at the top. Mm -hmm. Come up to the top the bad way and freeze. That's the wrong way, right? Do you want to do it from the side? Yeah. Not up. There. Yeah. So okay. this is the wrong way. As you can see, my chest is up, and I'm just using too much momentum and way too much motion yeah. and hingement. Yeah. So then, if I go like this, watch. Now come up. Try to arch your chest. Oh, you I can't. To, even if you want to, like, try to arch. Try to arch your chest. No, I can't. It's like it's right. impossible. You can't. So it pre it prevents. So that's why we did the whole looking forward thing. And it's so. Like, yeah. Keep this yep. stable. Stable and then move from Chest here down. Stable. Yep. And what you're gonna do is just move from here, from your ribs, down. Alright, so come up to the top. Good. Feet look good. Alright, from here. Go for it. Alright. One. Good. A little faster tempo. Two. Yes. Good. Three. Four. Yes. Five. Six, seven, good. Eight, a little faster. Eight, good. Nine, nice. Ten, okay, so good with hip thrusts. On to the next. Okay, so goblet squats. So I've got 50 pounds. 25 here. K, that's about 25 kg for my UK gals. 20, 25 kg. 22-ish. Okay, Former math teacher. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I failed maths five times and he's a math teacher, so, okay, so I'm not gonna argue with him. So you're gonna, so move up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, no, yep, yeah, right here, good. Now, hold the weight right yeah. here mm -hmm. and your elbows go in. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, show your natural squat mechanics, okay? Yep. Yeah. Because they're pretty good. And, and Chrissy, you could squat this way your whole life and be just fine, probably. Yeah. But I'm going to still fine tune a little bit. Sure. Unless you don't like it. Okay. No, no, go ahead. So see where you are here, okay? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do, this is heavy, I know. What I want you to do is get a little bit narrower stance right here. Mm -hmm. This is the stance I want. Even though you like the wide, I'm still going to have the same abduction. So. Before you had a little bit wider, but you didn't flare your knees as much. Now from here, come down, and I want you going here. That's wow! Cool. Okay. What the hell? But you have to get used to that. That's gonna take like 
like probably you know oh a month. Oh my god! And then you go here and then sink down now. And then when instantly here. Well, I don't no, know. No, I'm serious. I know. Like so what? So let's try this with weight. But here's what I want you to do. Okay, I want your elbows to go in between your knees, and I want you going a little deeper. Okay, ready? Go. Good. There. Come up. Yes. Okay. Let's do five reps. Yes. Great. Two. Let's do three more. Now I'm looking at your low back. It does not curve at all. It does not. You don't butt weak at all. So you can go nice and deep. You can probably even go a little deeper. Yes. Yeah, you don't butt weak one bit. You have great flexibility. Yep. If my hands, my arms, sorry, are going in between my legs. Elbows tucked in, and then your elbows travel between your knees. Go for it. Good. Yes, yeah, so see here, this didn't move one bit. So Chrissy has great flexibility. She has great hip flexion range of motion. You don't see any tucking here, no butt winking. So this is good. Good, okay, done. Great. This shows little tweaks up, you know? You have really good squat form there. But that, okay, so that applies. We showed, I showed Chrissy goblet squats, but you could have done back squats, front squats, high bar, low bar, back squats, front squats. Mm -hmm. It applies to everything, just yeah. that. And I think the, the, the thing that I do most with people is I get them in their squat stance. As you come down, don't come straight forward, Push come out. out. So externally rotate a little bit as you come down. And, and it then, feels weird at first. Yeah. Because you're literally like, because essentially it's what Brett asked me to do was just be in my normal stance when I would squat and it would always be a little bit externally rotated outwards. What feels comfortable when I'm standing. But then by just bringing it in a little bit more narrow, and then when you squat down, you're actually pushing out as you do it. Instantly, this bit felt it more. Whereas I don't feel that bit when I do goblet squats. I always feel it more on my quads, Good. but that's just me. Do this. Okay. And we'll do back extensions. We're we'll going to get started. Okay. Yeah. We're moving on to stiff. Stiff leg or which deadlift you want to do? Let's show both. Okay, we'll do stiff leg deadlift to begin with. So, um, I'm well, not going to lie. Let's show conventional and then stiff oh, leg. Oh, I suck at conventional. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so. So we're going to do conventional deadlift. The deadlift I hate the most, but I'm doing this for you, so. Okay. So first step, line up with the bar positioned right over your the middle of your feet. So that's perfect. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Bend over, grab the bar, but don't pull. Just bend over and grab it. Okay. Now, you need your arms just outside your legs so you can bend, so you can bend the knees. Good. Now, I would kind of lean forward just slightly and then pick the chest up. Perfect, stand up. Yes, that's it. Now lower, now, when you lower, sit back, sit back like a Romanian dev. Let's sit back, sit back. Now bend your knees. And then it right, it gets to right at the same, Part is where you left off. Okay, so let's do, let's so do I always feel like I'm doing it so wrong. No, that was perfect. That's okay, great. Good. Okay, let's try it again. Go for it. Midfoot. So hands outside. Hands outside the knees. Mm -hmm. Okay, now chest up, but kind of lean. Yeah, right there. Chest up. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Okay. Now, don't reset. Just do five reps. Good. Tap. Come up. Two. Yes. Now what's nice is you're skimming your legs. Good. Four. One more. Five. Great. Okay. So now, awesome. Good job. Thanks. Okay. That was great for him. Okay. I get okay. really nervous with those. I don't know why. Okay. So with the stiff leg, I like you to start from the top. So you'll deadlift the weight up, and then you start from the top, and then I will have you lower it. The only difference is you're not going to bend your knees as much. They do bend. You don't stay completely. It's Same. not like a straight leg where you're like this, okay? Because mm. most people could only come down to like here without rounding. So what you're going to do is bend the knees a little. You, you move mostly the hips. The knees do bend. But as after the bar passes your knees, you reach out a little bit. So you let, with the conventional, the bar Stop is always lined up right here mm -hmm. with a stiff leg towards the bottom. You let it drift out to the front of your feet. So let's try it. Cool. Okay, so just do a normal conventional deadlift. Remember, midfoot. Okay, 
Stand up. Okay, now from here, you are going to move mostly the hips, the knees bend a little, and then after the bar past your knees, let it drift forward a little to about here. Oh, yeah. It's smooth. And it's like smooth. that, and then come back up. Yeah, but it's not like a, like a, this, it's like a, it's like you just, it's a, it's but your a arms smooth. But you naturally wanna do that. Yeah, it's a smooth looking thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. but you have to use lighter weight when you do this. Okay, so it's good, let's try it again. So deadlift it up. Now, don't try to like, just, just try to, let it drift forward just slightly. Okay, you kept it close. Come on. Oh yeah, I did. Let it drift forward a little more. Yes. That's it, good. <laughs> Sit back. Yes. Good, yes, that's it, good. A couple more, this is great. Yes, and, and most important thing oh. you see, one more, you see. Chrissy's keeping that back. That's, she's naturally very good at that. It's one of the hardest things to get people to do. Now just come down normal, be done. Good. Do you know what I'm doing now? I'm reminding myself to, to push back. Just sit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, sit telling, back. Telling, telling myself to go, You have go, to go. sit way back. So as, when you were doing that, you probably had a negative shin angle, meaning here's a vertical shin, you probably were like here with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you just do that, and you're not like pushing back. Right. Sitting back, sorry. It's you've filled. got to sit way back. Right? Yeah, so I'm you'll see at the bottom. If you, if you come to the bottom, you'll see that this shin angle is actually pointed backwards. Now, but Chrissy has good hamstring flexibility. Even more so is you don't round. That's a huge, that's the number one thing with squats and deadlifts is that you have to watch and make sure they back. don't round their low back, especially. Mm -hmm. The upper back, the thoracic spine is not quite as dangerous because you have the rib cage protects you. The lumbar spine especially, so you do a great job with that. Stretch. So, yeah. The stretch on that. And also, sometimes what I do is use a bit of elevation. Yeah. Just because I am quite short and flexible. Yeah. So. Yep, you do a, we call those deficit, deficit mm -hmm. stiff legs, so you use, you stand on blocks or yeah. something, go a little bit deeper, yeah. which is fine for you because you have such good hamstring flexibility, yeah. so, such good hip flexion mobility, but if you, a lot of people don't. Like for me, if I go deeper than that, then I just end up rounding my back. So, okay, let's now move on to back extensions. Okay. All right, okay. right guys, we're moving on to back extensions now. So, um, you call that hyper extension, right? 45 degree hyper, yeah. 45 degree hyper extension. Um, a lot of people tend to use this on back day, yeah. I find, just for your yes. lower back. So, um, we're gonna show you how you're really gonna target Top of your glutes with this one? The whole glutes. The whole glutes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. This has been called back extensions for years, mm -hmm. and it's really hip extension. Mm -hmm. If you if you aren't extending your back, so if you wanted to work your back, I would put this up to your belly button level, and I'd make you round and extend. You'd be doing fl spinal flexion extension. People. So okay. if so, if you want to work, um, you really wanted to target your back. Your back. Watch. So we let's put this up way it. too high. Oh yeah, I see that. I see and now, what you're saying. So you have here. to round and then come up and extend and try to actually target this. So see this is flexed, now it's hyperextended. Here you're working the erectors dynamically, but we don't want, most people don't do this for your low back. Well, maybe bodybuilders do, but a lot of the, our followers are gonna wanna target their glutes. Yeah, for sure. So if you wanna target glutes. We now lowered it. We lowered it. And, and you'll and see where this sits. You basically want the pad as high up as possible without interfering, come down, come deep, get a stretch. You don't want it interfering with your hip flexion range of motion. So as you can see, this doesn't interfere. So it's basically like right above the, right below the pubic bone. I'm gonna have Chrissy flare her feet out 45 degrees, all right? This is external rotation at the hips, which leads to greater glute activity. The second thing, I'm gonna have her come down and then just relax, relax, relax. Tuck the chin and round, actively round. See this? It looks wrong. It looks like it's a bad posture, but what this does, this is important. Now her erectors aren't turned on. The job of the erectors is to erect the torso. If you're rounded, you're not using them. So I just shut off the erectors. Now we're gonna use just glutes and hamstrings to raise the torso. Okay, so let's see it. Boom, that's it. Now, hold on. I do feel a little bit right here. You actually came up a little too high. So this is very hard to teach. So keep that rounded. You're actually gonna stay rounded. You won't come up as high. Come up, 
Boom, right there. Oh, See yeah. that? That's oh, it. That's yeah. it. Okay. Okay, so let's do 20 reps this way. 20 reps? Yes. And you you end up, okay. Keep it. Just a boom. Glute squeeze. Stay around it. Go Ooh. faster. Faster. Three. Good. Four. Yes. Five. That's it. Six. Shit. Seven. Eight. Nice. Nine. Ten. Oh yeah. Okay, so. And it, it's like, it doesn't even feel uncomfortable or weird. It looks weird, but it doesn't feel weird. Because it's like, you naturally want to just relax. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you're forcing yourself yeah, to Yeah, this relax. way makes it a pure hip extension exercise, yeah. where you're working your you know hamstrings and mm. glutes, whereas, uh, which is funny, because you are rounding, but that actually just mm. shuts off your erectors, and mm -hmm. now it makes it, yeah. So. I'm so quad. They're jacked. I'm so quad dominated. You look great though, but I know. I know, I, I, know, I know. Men have to be like, it's what you want, not like no, I think that I looks awesome, but a lot of women that's not. No, I love quads. But I need to train my calves, which I never do. Your calves? I never change. <laughs> I don't either. Last exercise Bulgarian split squats. Yes. All right, this is the Bulgarian split squat, also known as the rear foot elevated split squat. So Chrissy is going to step out a little bit, okay? A little more. All right, now, what I, move over just a little bit. Now, what I want you to do is just stand on one leg and lean over one leg, oh, one foot, yep. Okay, so lean over, good. Now, drape this over the back, step out a little more. Okay, so, but keep doing that, like lean over it, good. Now, see how you have a little bit, this is probably a 30 degree lean. I want you to keep this lean the whole time. Now, what I'm gonna have you do, if you just drop this knee straight down, this knee would jut out too far. See that? See that? Okay, yeah. so come back up. Now, I'm not saying that's dangerous, I'm just saying you'd feel it mostly in your quads. Mm -hmm. But what I want you to do is actually descend at a diagonal angle this way to where your knee would be about right here. Okay, so lean a little bit, not weight, whether your weight is over this leg, mm -hmm. and now drop down at this angle, come down, don't lean more. Nope. Don't lean more. Nope. Come down. Yep. Come down, come down, come down, come down, come back up. Okay. So just send it that angle, Whoop. drop yeah. down, good, yes, perfect. Stretch. And now see how this knee comes right, it's like lined up with this toe pretty much. Okay, come up, good. Now bust out six of them. Good, nice, deep stretch. And I like using this rounded pad because it fits to the back of your leg better, the back of your foot better. Okay, now let's switch. Little, what I do with beginners, I will go like this, because I don't want them worrying about balance. But remember, your, okay, just hook that right there. Now from here, you're leaning over this foot, and then sink down that way, yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Yep, sink down that way. Lean a little more, right there, good. Come up, sink down this way. Good. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, good. And I'll hold them like this, but I won't, I won't be like this. I just barely give them something to hold on to. Good, that's it. And then we progress from holding on to my hands to hands at your sides. And then finally to holding on to dumbbells. Yeah. Okay guys, so that is it. We have gone through five exercises that are truly gonna transform your glutes and also top tips from literally the best of the best. I have delivered for you, so make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that you are subscribed to this channel and following Brett on Instagram. He is truly so inspirational and he knows his stuff. So whatever he posts, you better listen and you better read. Um, yeah, anything else to say? Um, no, no, thank thanks. you for this opportunity, it was great. Yeah. Oh no, thank you, but yeah, so I'll put everything in the description box below. I'll put the entire workout and with some top tips. And also I will link the fruit, the fruit loop. <laughs> I will link the glute loop band in the description box because honestly it's good stuff and also Brett's Instagram handle and website. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and following your girl on Instagram. Comment down below for any future videos you'd like to see and remember that I love you always and forever. Bye!